What's happening, fight fans? I'm just got done watching the uh, boxer match between AJ and Joseph Parker, and it was a good fight. I enjoyed it from a boxing point of view. I've someone's watched boxing for the year. I'm so young, but I just watched so much boxing that I come to appreciate sort of the fine art of boxing and having a game kind of coming in rather than always seeing a brawl fest of boxing. Um, the fight was good. Um, Obviously, Anthony Joshua won the fight, his first um, non-knockout win in his whole career. So now he goes 21 fights and 20 knockouts. Um, this fight was good. It started, the first couple of rounds were a bit cagey, it was a bit even. I've seen the cards for the um, punch totality and AJ was up on punches in every single round bar one. And I think it was the sixth round where they had like 12 punches each. So AJ landed more punches than Parker. It looked like Parker landed a lot more, but... Parker was throwing a lot more, just wasn't land, landing a lot of them, which I think goes down to just the fact that he had uh, he couldn't close the gap between him and AJ, and AJ kept a great a great reach. So Parker was at a disadvantage there. AJ definitely used his reach in order to beat Parker in this fight, which was good. Um, AJ just boxed smartly. He, he knew he was taller. He knew he could use his range. He knew that Parker would find it difficult getting the inside. In time, Parker would try to get in the inside. AJ would sort of back up, use his space, which is smart. It's like sort of like a page out of him the way Wilder's, but Wilder does that a lot. I mean, if you watch Wilder's fights, he's sort of Wilder, because Wilder knows he's so big, he sort of imposes his space and he, and he knows he can spread his arms out and keep your arms length so you couldn't really, can't really get into him, which is a good tactic to use. Um... There was like a cut above Parker's eye at some point during the fight. I think it was due to an elbow. Uh, I felt Joshua was comfortable. He sort of took in the ring generalship type role. And this is something that I, I saw from, since the Klitschko fight against Takam, I sort of noticed AJ sort of approaches fights more so now. Like he wants to stand in the middle of the boxing ring. He wants to sort of control it and be that ring general and sort of control and dictate the pace of the fight. And Parker sort of fell into that trap. He didn't. There was times where Parker tried press and he was sort of bumming at AJ. And I'll get into referee in a second because he was horrible. But we had to sort of bum AJ and just bum rush him and AJ would back up and hold him. And that that that's that was that was sort of Parker's thing when AJ when you uh he sort of maybe got a bit frustrated with AJ a little bit or wanted to land a bit more. But other than that, AJ sort of controlled it for me. So I see some people complaining. I think well, Wilder said something about it was a robbery. I don't know what he was talking about. For me, the fight when the fight was over, I can't believe AJ won that fight. Um, uh, the, the scorecards were 119 to 109. I feel it's like 118 to 110. Um, some of the rounds were close, so I'm not really surprised. A lot of the rounds were close, so I'm not too surprised. That's some that lot of them went to AJ anyway. He's a home guy as well. So I feel like when you're always home in your home country, you sort of going advantage over the other person when it comes to even even rounds anyway, most times anyway. Um let's get into the referee real quick. The referee was terrible. I feel like the match could have been a bit more different if the referee hadn't have gotten to the middle. I feel like any time Parker got close or AJ got close or trying to exchange a bit, the referee would be so quick to jump into the middle and split them up, which was, it was so, I don't know what that was about. And I'm a huge AJ fan. I'm a huge Wilder fan. I just, I just love boxing. I felt my favourite boxer would be AJ, but even me, I, I don't want to say this, but it's even possible that Horn maybe got on the referee's ear and just said, if you think AJ's going to get hurt from the inside, try to stop it. That's just me talking, but hey ho, whatever. Yeah, the age, the referee just wanted to continuously get in the middle of these two every single time. And at one point, I could see AJ was getting frustrated. I could see Parker was getting frustrated with it. But uh, Parker didn't like it. He spoke about it in a press conference. He had something about it. He wasn't really happy with it. AJ was sort of was more passive about it. I was just like, I'm not a referee or a judge. I don't agree dictate or have a view on too much on what they have to say. That's not really his job. So yeah, overall the fight was good. Um, I feel like in this day and age, I saw sorry, I took a backtrack for a second. I saw a lot of people complaining on social media. The fight was boring. The fight was interesting. AD did perform well. AD performed well. AD barely got hit in the face. He dictated the pace of the fight. He landed more. He came out without a scratch. It was like an easy. Not only is it easy that's work because AD to keep up, but and Parker did well. Parker fought well for guy on his back foot. Parker fought very well. He's a lot. He's very fast, which we knew. 
Um, I've watched Barker's uh, quite a few, of his, most of his fights before he won the belt. After he's won the belt, I've watched most of his fights. I thought Parker increased his speed. He was Parker was great. He felt felt great in his back foot, but I thought AJ was sort of comfortable. At some point, see Parker was getting more comfortable into the fight, but again, couldn't really close the range. He kept getting jabbed. Um, I sort of wish Parker would have um, maybe tried to fight more positive rather than negatively. But like I was like I was gonna say earlier, um, I feel like in this day and age, we're sort of spoiled because we're used to seeing fighters. Knocking everybody out. AJ, he was 20, 20, 20 knockout, 20 wins. Wilder, 40 wins and 39 knockouts. Fury has, I think, 80 knockouts in 25 or something like that. Uh, Dillian White has quite a few knockouts on his records. Ortiz has quite a few, has most of his fights are knockouts. Who else we got? I'm forgetting someone. Parker has, I think, 80 knockouts in his 25 fights or whatever. And I think we're sort of just being spoiled by the heavyweights and knocking everyone out. And I feel like, like especially the casual fans, they just expect knockout, knockout, knockout. If we don't see a knockout, it wasn't a good performance. If you don't see, if you don't see um, someone lay down on the canvas, it wasn't a good performance. But sometimes when you're boxing someone, it's like Styles makes fights. When you're boxing someone, you're not often see a knockout. Sometimes you got a box to win. Um, sometimes not always a point in taking a huge risk for just to try and get a knockout because Parker's a very fast fighter. There was times where AJ, he didn't throw his right hand a lot in that fight. He used that as a jab a lot more. There were times where you saw AJ sort of throw his right hand. Parker was so fast, he got out of the way of it. And I think AJ knew that. If I, keep, I think AJ knew if he keeps throwing his right too much and over commits himself, he's going to get caught. And that's not what he wanted to do. So AJ fought a smart fight to the end. He won it on decision at the end of the fight. I thought it was a good performance from him. At the end of the fight, he sort of called out Wilder. The, the reporter sort of pushed him into it. He could see it again. A tiny bit annoyed. But um, that fight's going to happen soon. Because to unify it, I know uh, for people who don't understand how the belts work, AJ, saw, AJ has to fight um, Wilder like the next year in order for, to unify it because of how the belts work. If AJ doesn't fight him, he's going to have to drop the belt. He's going to drop one, one of his belts because of the mandatories and having to fight everyone so this fight has to happen over the next year anyway so it's going to happen whether whether or not it happens next I don't know I actually don't know I don't see it happening next I feel like it's probably going to happen after who why uh, AJ fights next I'm not sure I don't know what's going to happen next though, but we'll see what happens um, thanks for watching this video people if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new I'm going to also make a video on the David Price fight at some point tomorrow that fight was just devastating. Like, that fight broke my heart. It was just devastating. But these more videos coming down unboxing. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.